It's been a long hiatus, but I'm back. And I'm back with a brand new show series. I'm calling it Search History. And, you know, it's an aspect of the show uh, really to have some fun with my friends, colleagues, coworkers, clients, all that stuff to talk about just that, their search history. Now, of course, we'll go down the uh, rabbit hole all about search engine optimization and search technology itself, but this whole series is really just intended to have a little fun. And, you know, in prepping for this episode, I also kind of had a illumination. So I was going back through my search history, and I talk about this a little bit in this episode, but it is illuminating when you go back through your own search history and you look at it in its totality and you look at essentially the picture your search history paints of you and quite frankly, it's a little shocking what Google probably knows about you or can infer about you. So that I think is always going to be a um, consistent theme throughout this series, but I am super excited to welcome back my good, good pal, Chris Slezak, to the show. He actually was there when we launched this podcast way back when it was called Tripod. He has been a loyal co-host, a beloved friend, and candidly, one of the funniest people I know. So, Uh, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, more to come. I am back on the grid, baby. Clarity's back. But first, a little Frank Turner. Through my ups and downs, I figured one thing out. Don't take anyone's shit. It made all the sense in the world to me that the first guest on this new segment was the guy who was on the first episode of this podcast. It's Chris. He's here. Hello. Hi, buddy. Hello again. Oh my God, man. I missed I missed doing some pods with you and you missed it so much you didn't even have a microphone anymore. <laughs> yeah. I tore my closet apart trying to find the <laughs> mic. It was like, what, 20 minutes before we were supposed to go? And I was like... <laughs> Oh Let yeah, I need a microphone for this. Don't you're just I? like, yeah, you're like, hey, yeah. um, are we just doing audio? Which is an indicator to anyone listening to this that we are <laughs> horribly dressed right now, <laughs> recording this on at eight thirty at night, which hey, might as well be midnight. I swear to God, I'm I am wearing a Lightning McQueen T-shirt. Are you calling that? I'm wearing dressed? an Orlando Magic tank top, and here's the thing. It's not even of a real player. Look, Chris. It, it says it says eighty nine on it, and you're like, numbers go that high in basketball? No, it's like the year it was founded, the team. It's like, but it's comfy as all hell. We're we're both just totally like dad dressed right now. <sighs> I come home and anything with sleeves is not to be worn. Mm, I just yeah. am so freaking hot. No, yeah. I don't like it's not just Florida. It was like that in Texas too, but I also run hot. So that's the struggle. That's the struggle. But this is a new yeah. segment show. I don't know what to call it anymore. It's a new pod. Who cares? And uh search history. And you know, for me, it's just kind of having a fun discussion with friends and colleagues and things like that about search and uh what what we've both been uh, searching last uh, last couple weeks. So um, I want to start with this, actually, before we jump in. What's kind of your search routine, Chris? So, like, do you find yourself searching more on mobile? And do you, do you, do you use, like, the Google app? Or do you just go to Google? What's, what's kind of your most common search routine uh yeah i mean definitely just the google app on mobile and typing in you know whatever random thoughts pop into my head so do you Uh, use the widget because i i'm a widget user 
I use the no. Google widget. No, I'm just opening the app and okay. N- new window. All right. New tab. I'm using yeah, just new, I got new tab. the I got the, the widget I go to. But here's the thing. I also and this is where search, you know, is the it's the new age of search, but on my lock screen, I have a button to quick fire chat GPT. Additionally, I wondered if you were going to mention that. I so you use that for chat? searching? Yeah. Yeah, I use it for honestly stupid things. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of, I mean, I do use it for work, but I also use it for like, um, I was meeting a relative. Here's a good, here's a good, when I say good example, I mean terrible example. And I was meeting family members, fiance for the first time, and she was Irish. And so I asked ChatGPT to give me a whole bunch of Irish slang that I could go use with her and talk about with her. Yeah. And it was good. It was good conversation, you know? Um, I, I, of course, went into it like, hey, I've chat GPT these phrases of Irish slang. Can we talk about them? And she was like, oh, heck yeah. So right, I guess, she might not I have guess, said heck yeah. She might have said the Irish equivalent, which I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I could see that being an advantage using chat GPT for that so that you just get your answers right there instead of having to then search through a list of sites to then <laughs> dig through and try to find the answers within those sites. I, yeah, I can see that. And that's, I mean, I think that's arguably the whole thing around even like generative search, right? So those, I'm a Google user. Most of the, I mean, most of the world is, but I also turned on generative search on Google. So it still gives me those little, um, AI driven results in addition to the results. Um, but I use both, man. Like I, sometimes I want, Sometimes I don't want to be told what the answer is. Sometimes I want to search it out. Sometimes I'm just like, just tell me what the answer is to this. You know. Well, I'm realizing so. now, talking about that and looking at my searches, that most yeah. of mine are not – I'm not seeking answers. I'm seeking media. Interesting. For the most part. Okay. This is, this is going to get interesting. Okay, so with what we're going to do – is we're gonna we're gonna talk about we picked out a handful we I, we our our homework assignments were to pick out a handful of recent searches we did and we're gonna talk about them. So do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. I got one. Ooh, I got one ready to go. Coming that in I feel strong. Like, I I feel like it's it's actually a, a nice easy Googleable okay. answer. Uh, can you throw away batteries? <laughs> Cause I've been, uh, you know, I've got a Ziploc bag full of used batteries and my wife, Katie and I are very adamant about recycling batteries. We know you can't just throw them in the trash, but the closest, the closest place is like at least a, 35, 40 minute drive away to recycle them to my knowledge. And I don't want like I it's, and it's also never in a direction I'm going. It's the opposite part of town. Like I'm never going to go there, but I can't just throw in good conscience, throw the batteries away. But I was like, but can I, <laughs> could I, is it what's worse for the environment throwing away the batteries or spending the gas and uh, you know, driving all the way out there. I don't know. <laughs> that second but part thought, sounds like you're thought, just uh, you're just trying to tell yourself that it's okay. I want, yeah, I want to do what's right, but with the least amount of work possible. Yeah. Um. And so, yeah, so, I, I. So that was my simple Google. Which okay, but before you tell me the answer, yeah, yeah I just want to oh, share with wait, you. Wait, was I supposed to have the answers? <laughs> no. <we didn't>. Okay. <laughs> Actually, before you tell me what you learned. Which, ironically, if a lot of these searches, it's nothing. I think it just – that itself proves a massive point right. <laughs> about right. how we search. Um, I have this giant garage door battery. I'm holding it up mm. right now. It's huge. And I've been, it's been sitting on my desk for like two months. 
for the very same reason you're saying. Because we were like, when we took it out, Megan, my wife, was like, well, can we throw this away? I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I think you got to you gotta re- recycle it. You but it's the exact thing you're saying where it's like, I think I can take this to a Best Buy. I'm pretty sure Best Buys have a little battery recycle thing. I think I haven't been in Best is Buy it, in forever. Is that the? I was gonna say, is that their new? But I'm never room? at a Best Buy. <laughs> right, they're just a virtual showroom and battery <laughs> recycle center. It's it's just okay. So, what did you learn in what, in this query? What I learned is that bless Austin, Texas. They used to. You used to be able, in Austin. You can. I used to because I used to live there. In Austin, you still can take batteries to the library. You could what? they had a battery, they had basically a bin that you could just drop off your old batteries at the library. Um here in Charlotte, North Carolina, no, I'm I'm stuck driving one state over essentially to to go recycle you my know batteries. What this, this reminds me a little bit about do you remember that Seinfeld episode where they were trying to figure out how they could make the financials work of recycling glass bottles? Mm-hmm. And Newman had to get the mail truck on Mother's Day? I, you know, I actually did consider something like that where I was like, oh, I could offer a service. Nobody would want to pay for it, but... <laughs> I, I could start a nonprofit in my neighborhood, a, a, a service where drop all your batteries off to me. I'm making a run to the recycle center. Tips are welcome. And I'll just drive with a car full of double A's and maybe get myself a hot sandwich on the way home and tips, you know? <laughs> That's what sounds, I'm thinking. Sounds dangerous. Car but, full of batteries. <laughs> now, I Googled this probably two weeks ago, and I'm yeah. still looking at a Ziploc. <laughs> Okay, here's an idea. Okay, instead of making it a whole business, what if you just posted, are you on, are you of the age where you're on next door? Maybe you could, maybe you could put a post on next door and, and just have people chucking batteries at your house. I was going to say, you know, somebody on next door is going to find a reason to be mad about me recycling though. Well, you recycling for the, Planet. I don't know who that guy is. Yeah, That's your neighbor. Socialist two two doors to not <laughs> two two doors down. That's uh, Steve. Yeah. That's Steve. He, he hates batteries. It should be one of those things where I just slowly pass batteries around like to somebody heading that direction. <laughs> it's like a like handoff. A, you know. Right. You like know, until it makes its way to the recycle center. Yeah, like you need to put like a note or something on it, like a homing pigeon. Or something, so you know, and then see if it works its way back or something. Right. Like, can I not just, I don't know, tape the bag to the side of my recycle bin on trash day? Oh, and like, man. like, please, That's good like, you're please. like, who's you're... more likely to make it to the recycle center, me or the recycle truck? <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I, I, I hope the recycle truck, but I think that's 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 the answer. All right, that's a good one. See, this is going to go down history. As the first query on search history, it's going to go down in search history as the first topic on the show. Search history. When somebody so searches, meta. what was the first? When yeah. someone searches, yeah, my brain just exploded. Okay, mm-hmm. here's mine. Here's my first one. <clears throat> Where can I go without a visa but UK passport? This was my query so because like, like, you don't know this UK territories. Mm-hmm. You, you don't know this. I'm a British citizen now. Why? What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> what are you insulting? Is that, are you insulting the King? How dare you? How dare you, sir? <laughs> I challenge you to a duel. Uh, no, that du- dueling's probably pretty American. So I'm both. I'm not, I'm not, not an American. I'm also a Brit, uh, United Kingdoms. I was born there and through a crazy loophole 
Chris, and they sh- in this small window of time, I was eligible for a UK passport. And if I'm eligible for something, you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I did it. Yeah. Yeah. And so now I have it. And so, of course, with the upcoming election, I'm looking at how can I how can I get out of here? What are my options? <laughs> this is your what, escape. What are my options? Now, I'm going to tell you, ironically, this is one I searched for, and I actually don't have an answer for you. <laughs> this is what I searched, and I was like, oh, I'll come back. This looks involved. It was one of those where it was like I searched to scratch the itch, but then I did the itch. It didn't really, it wasn't really scratched, but it looked like, I'm going to tell you, it looked like a lot of places, Chris. Like I saw maps that were color coded maps because like a lot of places that, I don't know if you know this, but my people, the Uh English, yeah, they were colonizers and they, (laughs) I've heard, they, they did some, oh God, unsavory. Anyways, there's a lot of places that, they, that for some reason it's still cool, it you know for you to go there and hang out for like months in some right, cases I was gonna, three months yeah six yeah you months. said without a visa so like correct not so just it's a not vacation. permanent but you know extended period mm-hmm. of time Till so it's promising yeah. I mean and all this is see... an honest question Canada yeah. I mean you know can't you move freely between I think so. Under the rule. I mean, the way or, I see it, you know, I could anywhere, anywhere that queen slash king, you know, I mean, I think like the queen king is like still on some of the money to play, you know, whatever. So, so again, Canada and Australia, they're good to go. Yes. However, I got a problem with Australia. I don't like it. I never been, but I don't like it. I don't like it. Is it the, I don't it's think the I'd accent, like it. Right? I don't, the accent is not good. Yeah. It's not. I don't love it. Um, Unless it's bluey. I well, that accent is cute. Is all hell. Let's just be real. All right, Bluey's. That's he's he's the gold standard of Aussie accents. Um, so this also this blue. was one that I did search. I then became overwhelmed, and I said, "I'll come back to this search." And here I am kind of coming back to it but not really and that's that's what blue is a she by the way blue is a she i just want bluey (laughs) is she (laughs) um max is off my son max is off bluey he's off bluey now he was on elmo for like a month he's hot on nemo now hot as in fish Yeah. No, not 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 Captain Nemo. No, he's hot on that fish. So, by the time we get him, you know how this is. By the time we buy him the toy to go with his obsession, that's that's when he's over it. Oh, sure. It's very convenient. So you don't know where you're running off to yet. Not yet, but if you want, because obviously I'm going to have to follow up on this. I'm going to save the post-it note that I have it written on here. Roten? Yeah, that's that's, right. a, that's British. You wouldn't understand <laughs> that I have it written on here. But you know what I'll also search? I'll see where can I go with a friend and his family without a visa. So that way I, I can see if I can get you covered too. Please. At okay. least in a covered wagon or something. <laughs> My people don't do that. All right. Anyone? What else you got? So, so far, we've learned about batteries and that I okay, am so, a British citizen. So, as I said, the next, uh, the next few are, are more uh, image and, and video searches. Okay. Media. And these are done in Google? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, my next search was Raleigh St. Clair. Is that, that doing anything okay. for you? Raleigh St. Clair. St. Clair. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you going to give me there. more than one, or you just, that's just that one? I don't know if I'm going to give you just together. that one, and I'm going to explain what oh, it was. Oh, just that one. Yeah, please do. Um, Raleigh St. Clair is the uh, Bill Murray's character from Wes Anderson's The Royal Tenenbaums. <laughs> okay. Now, the reason I Googled this was because oh. I – uh, I had a show, a gig, yes, uh, where I was playing the drums. It was a Wes Anderson themed party, uh, and I needed a Wes Anderson character with a beard. My yeah, options were limited. Beard, right? I had limited options, and one of them was Raleigh Saint Clair. Hmm. So I then had to Google an image of that for costuming reasons. <clears throat> Were you successful few, in this costume? Yeah, successful enough. Uh, yeah. I think nobody cared. I think I could have come mm-hmm. wearing whatever I wanted. Nobody mm-hmm. nobody would have minded. Uh, but in my mind, yeah, pretty good. And a reason to wear a turtleneck and a, and a nice brown blazer. So Yeah, that's a nice combo. It was combo. a look I had never... Uh, I had never tried to pull that look off before. I definitely had, you know, distinguished professor vibes and i wasn't mad about it so have you tried to, to borrow a turtleneck no no i might but i have to return the turtleneck that i borrowed from my dad you bar- <laughs> i don't own a, i don't own a black turtle you borrowed a turtleneck <laughs> you don't own a turtleneck no no i mean i don't know why i do because as i aforementioned yeah i always run hot <laughs> Yeah, and you the don't turtleneck's like the worst choice. Let me a hey, sleeveless turtleneck. Now we're talking. Think about it. Think about now it. Now we're talking. Okay, Dignified. now wait, hold on. Hold on. Dignified I'm going to Google that. Pooling. No, I can't. No, that's for later. If I, uh, okay, sleeveless turtleneck. Just put is that a that. sweater vest? I, I just need to understand where your head is at to see if we're on the same page. Is that a sweater vest with a turtleneck no. or, no. or, or is what you're saying is it's like a sweater, but it just has a normal neck. And cause that the sleeve is, the, you, is the neck. I think you even double down. I think you go sleeveless turtleneck with okay. sleeveless blazer. <sighs> you're basically that sounds like a, a Judd Nelson character. I think you're really putting the professional and professional wrestler at that point. Wow. I wonder if I could pull that off. I think I it's worth think a so. try. I don't. That does give off professional wrestler vibes. You're so right. Right. Like that's your the character. Mountie. You're like the Mountie. Professor the Mountie. wrestler. Professor wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you in detention. But you need the elbow patches just on your. Oh, mouth. he's got him in the dunce cap. He's got him in the dunce cap. <laughs> he's going to lose his tenure over that one. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's good. It's All good. Right. What do you got for me? What, okay. what do you got? All right. All right. So recently, I've been having a lot of nightmares. Okay. I'm gonna laugh. tell you about I, him. I immediately, I, I immediately uh, blew air out of my nose in a <laughs> light laughter, and I feel bad for it. Thanks. I yeah, thanks for the support, moral support. The first one was, I was a wide receiver for the New England Patriots. That's an American football. Because again, as my all my British fans are probably listening, that's American football team, and I <clears throat> caught two, Chris, not one, two touchdowns in the first half from Tom Brady. Okay, the so goat, there I am. The goat, they call him the goat. Some call him the goat. Some don't don't make this into a sports podcast. Goat. It's going to get like not ready for that. Not ready for that energy. Okay. <laughs> you okay. don't want my draft so, picks. <laughs> please don't. This is not your mock draft board. That's a different podcast. It's okay. my mock turtleneck. <laughs> you don't know about that either. Okay. So 
So we go into halftime. I'm chilling with Tom Brady. Tom Brady is like actually kind of cool in my dream. And then, then the second half starts, Chris, but disaster strikes. I cannot find my way to the field and I'm lost in the stadium. A la uh, uh, Spinal Tap. Yeah. Seriously, that's what it was like. It was like every door I, I can turn around, but I was in my uniform. I was in, I was in full pads <clears throat> and then I woke up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now the second one was I was going to the prom, high school prom, <clears throat> and I was in high school. Just to clarify, I wasn't this age going to the prom. I was a high school student going to the prom with my high school girlfriend. We get to the prom and it's like a big gym, right? But it's a pool. Okay. And everyone's swimming. And I get, and I, and I, I jump in and I swim. I'm in a swim. I go, somehow I was in a tuxedo, but then I was in like a swimsuit. But then I get out of the pool and I can't find my clothes. So these are two dreams related to being lost. <clears throat> so now my search history lost in dream meaning. Do you, do you want to take a guess at what lost being lost in a dream means? Oh, I'm assuming you're having trouble with the direction in which your life is headed man are you google it's like you're google it's like you know things okay here's some things here's here's what i got anxiety Duh. feeling Ooh, disconnected that, not knowing what to do feeling stuck <clears throat> this one not as helpful listen to this one searching for something yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So think on that one. <clears throat> so like th this is, whole, these like are a whole football field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I've had that going on. I got one of these things or more, one or more, at least one, possibly more things, I suppose, going on. It's 2024. We all got one of those things. Right. Am I right? I mean, any dream. Not, you'd be like, oh, anxiety. Play your problems. I'm just wondering here. I'm going to put this. I'm going to put. I'm going to put. Uh, uh, endless candy in dream meaning. We're going to do a live query here and see what it. What, what could it mean? This is a real dream or a dream you're hoping to have? No, kind of hoping, I guess. I was just seeing if it told me I had anxiety from that also. I just feel like anxiety is in 90% of dream meanings, sure. but it's not. Sensuality is, though. How does that make you feel? Sensual. <laughs> Uncomfortable. <laughs> Makes me feel like filling out an HR report. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You got another one? Uh, yeah. Uh, Joy Division album cover. I think I know exactly what you were thinking. It's the one with the... Well, it, right. You're right. It's the one okay. with, I believe... I believe it is the audio waves of a pulsar, if I'm not yep. mistaken. But That's it kind of looks like a mountain range, that sort yeah. of vibe to it. Uh, now, the reason I Googled it is probably not what you would guess. Uh, and this actually happened last night. Uh, Fresh. So I don't know if you've seen a bunch. Uh, there's a bunch of parodies of this album cover, right? And the album is, yes. the album is called Unknown Pleasures. Um. Which I, I've never listened to this album. I don't I don't know if I'm missing out or not, but neither here nor there. Uh, it's an often parodied album cover, and I looked it up because I had a glimpse at my uh, receding hairline and thinning hair and thought, can I make a parody of this album cover? But instead <laughs> of the mountain range, the, the pulsar waves, it's my thinning hairline. 
So that was the thing I was looking up. I just wanted to I don't, see that. I don't you, like... No, it's not so bad now. I don't but. like how you bullied yourself. You... <laughs> right. I don't... I don't... I don't like it. It was just... It was a... You know... It just... It, it triggered funny, a, It triggered a, an idea. You know, I saw it and I thought, Hey, you know what that looks like? That looks <laughs> like Joy Division's album cover on top of my head. You know what you might be able to do? I mean, using... Well, or I might be able to do. I mean, I'm going to throw that into old chat GPT tomorrow and see what I can spit out for you. I thought you were going to spin this into a uh, ad placement for hymns. <laughs> you know what I could do? I can offer you a coupon code. Use <laughs> use coupon code Ross at hymns. Having dreams off. about not performing for Tom Brady. <laughs> Having anxious dreams about Joy Division Compar- albums. Com- yeah, comparing your hairline to to new wave albums. That commercial, I wouldn't skip that commercial. I'd listen to it. I mean, really, if you're if you're old enough to even know the Joy Division album cover, you're probably old enough You've, to have thinning hair. And you're probably old enough to need something that Hymns offers at this point, I guess. <laughs> I They're like every week it's something new. Like, oh yeah. First, I feel like first it was <clears throat> ED, and then it's hair. It's probably now like athlete's foot. It's like any ailment. It's like, oh, do you have do you have dry elbows? We got just give me the pill. Just just <laughs> whatever. Just, yeah, here's some pills I'll take my for chances. you. Let me throw some pills at you. Something All goes right. up. Something else comes down. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna. I got I got the last one. Okay. Okay. All right. So. I, on occasion, a couple times a week, go into the, go into the office, right? I don't like tucking in a shirt, and I'm aware untuck it exists. I get it, everyone, but they're just stupid expensive for shirts that are just whatever. They're fine, but they're just stupid expensive. I don't like tucking in my shirt once again, not to ring the same bell too many times, but because I am hot. I always am hot, hot person. And Chris, you won't, you can't tell this from the camera angle chubbed up a bit, you know, none of my shirts got problems. All right. So this is what led to this search. Actually, before I say, what do you think this search is going to be? Because I feel like your head's already in a place that is not really. Well, I'm danger. I'm concerned about where it is. Yeah, I. Honestly, I don't know. Okay, it's fine. The term was French tuck. Oh, sure. Now, you may think, is that some sort of sexual euphemism but it's not okay a french tuck is a lazy man's tuck but but the but the but since it's got french in it it's like you could say what do you mean i look sloppy this is a french tuck you stupid idiot i I haven't said that at work to anyone but i've thought about it and the french tuck is chris in case you're wondering is you just tuck the front in right a little ventilation in the back. And then basically once someone notices, it's too late anyways, because you're you've walked by them. That's the thing. Right. They like it's like it's like a mullet. Business in the front, party in the back. It's like the it's like the shirt version of a mullet. That's what it is. Because it looks like you just came out of the bathroom <laughs> trying to be discreet. A little bit. Or a I mean, there's, closet there's, there's or kind a... of a, there's an art form to it. There's a little zhuzh, if you will. You, you got to get the, the zhuzhing. <laughs> sure. Right? So there's a little bit of, of art to no, it. No, I learned about the French tuck uh, from, from my boy Tan in the Fab Five, you know? Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at this. I'm, I know things. Yeah. yeah. It's good. For us hot folks... Us, 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 sweaty folk, guys. It's almost guys, like anyone. Yeah, give it a whirl. It's eye. definitely the tuck for the. You're sitting in your office, untucked, but then you got to run to a meeting, 
So you're yes. just tucking the front on the way out on the way out of your office. Correct. Correct. Or honestly, you go in and you kind of just are like hanging out at your desk most of the day anyways. Like, mm-hmm. whatever. So the French tuck, if you run hot like me and Chris, you run hot, right? You're hot blooded like, like me. Oh, yeah. I always feel I like we see. were sweaty. We've been sweaty together. Oh, yeah. Well, French tuck. That's where it's at. You can Google it and yeah. see videos and pictures. Not so to me. summarize, so yeah. to summarize, we're yeah. into no sleeves. Yep. Uh, bad <laughs> dreams, yep. French tux, and mm-hmm. uh, ED medications. <laughs> you it know, I just want to wanna say, a a okay, we are men of a certain thing, age. Here's a very interesting thing about what's going to become of this uh, segment. Mm-hmm. I very quickly, in looking at my own search history. When you go through it long enough, right? Because I went through probably like a month or two just with some scrolls. It is really interesting, the picture that is formed from that. And it really, I encourage you to, you, the listener, whoever, to do it. And it it really illuminated something I've known for a long time, but it really like like, oh my God. Just thinking about how much information Google has on you, based purely even on just your searches. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, obviously these searches were, you know, cherry picked. Sure. Probably yeah, the too. other 90% is just me highlighting, right clicking, and searching on an actor or actress's name that I'm reading about and <laughs> finding out what oh, they were in. Interesting. You're. I mean, You're looking through celeb- my search history, I was like, I don't file. I don't even know who this person is. I don't know who I looked up and then I had to click on the search history mm. to be like, oh, OK, I don't even remember looking that person up. Re- oh, I had a bunch of those, too. I had a bunch of those, too. For yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah. But I feel like that's in the category of by itself. Right. Or in right. and of itself. Everyone's got those. Who is this? Right. Where do I know this person from? Everyone's got those. And then and I'm like, in a rabbit hole. I was going hole. through and I was like, oh my God, like even just from the last two months, I feel like based on these queries, Google has a, could have a really good picture of what I'm interested in. Right. Like all of a sudden I'm reading about Game of Thrones, a show I haven't watched in five years. Yep. Because I, because I Googled an actor who happened to be in one episode. And then and now I'm going, rabbit hole. yeah. And then I'm, then I'm, yeah, there I am down the well. Well, now it knows. I mean, now it knows you're interested in that. So, you know, you might be interested in other HBO Max programming. They would love to oh. have you sign up. <laughs> they really yeah. need subscribers right now. Please, Chris, please. It's a guy got to do. This is you're this right. Was this, a really, this... this is a long winded way. Uh, HBO Max wanted me to reach out to you to see if you could sign up. <laughs> But yeah, this was definitely face. a. Uh, it was an interesting exercise for sure. Yeah. to go back. Well, it's and not again, the last time. Something that I was. Uh, I don't want to say willing to talk about, but like worth talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you were even like coming in. We were just like, do we want to make this? How much? How much biz talk do we want to have? You know what? We'll throw in biz talk here and there. Sometimes you just need to have a little fun, and that is really what everyone needs to know. So this has been. Uh, super fun first but not last episode Mm -hmm. of search history and on that note chris is there anything you'd like to promote anything the people out there should be searching for you for uh sure i mean uh i'm in a band right now called modern moxie uh Mm -hmm. recording an, an ep releasing a few tracks as we speak i'm the new dressing drummer up for that band in sleeveless yeah next. <laughs> so Maybe. feel free to check that out i suppose Love if it. i'm promoting anything at all you get to i allow it i won't edit it out so then it can be found well, yeah. on the internet that's well, exciting thanks for having me yeah this oh. has been illuminating oh and- i've missed you missed you but with that we're gonna end this episode 
of search history. So I encourage you to go forth onto the internet, find what you're searching for. Till next time, everyone. Keep pedaling. <laughs>